tonight what the federal budget will mean for local businesses in the district. More on the eviction of a Hawthorne fish and chip shop on Church Street. Vegan vigilantes block Melbourne CBD. Anger after a third of the MCG is cut off during the aftermatch kick on the ground. Plus the results of last year's NAPLAN, Victorian Year 3s and 5s doing better than Year 7s and 9 in every category. And our special report, we compare the music departments from both Q and Hawthorne West Primary Schools. This is HMV Local News with Leonardo Puglisi. Good evening, our top story tonight. Scott Morrison's federal budget is going to make big changes according to himself and the Liberal Party. Morrison mentioned tax cuts for small to medium businesses a lot in his budget, although locals in Hawthorne are saying that that entire budget is a way to get votes. It won't actually help. The parties have been hitting hard with political ads and promises. And don't forget your local Kuyong candidates are Josh Frydenberg for the Liberals, Janice Stewart for Labor, Julian Burnside for the Greens, Stephen Delia for the United Australia Party and Independent Oliver Yates. Now continuing from one of last week's stories, the eviction of a Hawthorne fish and chip shop. The shop was given the notice last Tuesday. The shop, which came under management only a few months ago, is now part of the growing changes to Church Street and we will continue to keep you posted on these developments. Many adults and children alike were happy when the AFL's kick to kick after the siren was reinstated for another year. Although what you're about to see made all of them very, very angry. At the end of the Hawthorne North Melbourne match at the G, around a third of the ground was cut off for reasons still unclear. As you can see, fans cannot access either goals or the centre square as it was roped off. Some speculate it was due to the crowd of just over 36,000, despite crowds of less than 30,000 being let onto the G in previous games. The AFL has not responded. Now to a Herald Sun report, saying Victoria's Year 7s and 9s have failed to make any statistical improvement in their NAP plan last year. Instead, Grade 3s and 5s have come first or second in reading, writing, grammar, numeracy, punctuation and spelling. The report also says Year 9 students in remote areas beat their metropolitan counterparts in all those categories. There was also reports of cheatings, 68 incidents nationwide, 8 in Victoria. On Monday, vegan vigilantes protested in the middle of Melbourne CBD blocking a large intersection. Some had chained themselves to vans and had to be cut off by police. This follows the Gippy Goat Cafe being forced to shut its doors in Gippsland after protests from activists. For the record, the cafe does not serve goats, instead has a small petting farm next to the cafe for the locals. And up north, three sheep were stolen from a Queensland farm by activists. Sea life was blocked off in Melbourne, and all Melburnians were not able to go to work. Even emergency service vehicles had to be rerouted as the protests last for two hours, although it took another hour for them to be moved on by Victoria Police. Next in HMV local news, highlights from the Redbacks vs. Sips YJFL match, and our special report on music in schools. Welcome back, our special report now. An HMV has uncovered Q Primary's music department is adding additional musical activities, unlike Hawthorne West Primary School. One includes lesson for the cello. Hawthorne West had violin and piano programs, but in the last few years those have disappeared. Some are wondering if the junior choir at HWPS will too be a thing of the past, although many are hoping that will never happen. <coughs> In sport now, the Ashy Redbacks played the Hawthorne Sits under nines team on Sunday. It was a brand new Sits side, so the Ashburton under nines team win was expected, 
although a best on ground performance from number 16 Sebastian Puglisi helped the Sits gain confidence. He spoke to HMV after the match. It was a good team effort for our team, but they scored a bit too much and we couldn't win the game. Weather's next. Again, weather now. On that note, that is HMV local news for this evening. Thanks for tuning in on behalf of the team, though. I'm Leonardo Puglisi for now. Good night.